No, Mr. Marco. I was just about to start filming. What are your thoughts on the Pamela's new workout? Welcome back to another episode of The Plant Zone, where we're going to talk about Pamela's pro workout today. Spit nothing but realness at you. Now, Pamela's workout is one of my all-time favorite modules. I was a day one user of the original Pamela's workout. I was probably one of the first people in the United States to cop one of those modules. And it has been a fundamental piece of my rack ever since. The new workout added a ton of bonus features that made it kind of like an indispensable part of nearly everybody's rack. Pamela's workout is a timing and modulation powerhouse. It's 8 HP and it gives you 8 outputs and it's rock solid. From this point forward, I'm gonna refer to Pamela Pro as Pam 3, Pamela's new as Pam 2, and the OG as the OG. Pam 3 solves the very few handfuls of issues that Pam 2 had. Namely, it's got a little bit higher resolution on the outputs, the screen functionality, the UI is just absolutely enhanced to bejeebus, and it's got every single wave and micro timing features that just make it absolutely incredible. In addition to this, you can expand your CV inputs now and you have access to use all four of the CV inputs on the panel as, you know, multifunction CV inputs, the clock and run. Those are no longer just, you know, pigeonholed into being those. They can do anything. You gotta go check out the video I made for Perfect Circuit because obviously that one's gonna go into more detail, but we're gonna talk about Pam's pro workout here probably for like the next year because it's quite possibly now the single most powerful module out there as far as modulation goes and the ability to do simultaneous like crazy functionality all at once. The quantizer especially has gotten a crazy overhaul of functionality. The like loop and the like waking and, and napping for the loop settings is absolutely incredible. And the visual enhancements, like being able to see your Euclidean patterns and being able to, you know, just visualize how the modulation is coming out with the um, the rhythm scope is is it's a game changer and it's really really cool and I gotta say that this is like the ultimate addition of what Pam's workout could be. Every once in a while you see a V2 of something and it's kind of like eh, uh, uh, whatever a V3 even or revisions this that or the other thing but this is one that you're not gonna want to miss. If you're experiencing any of the issues with Pam's 2 that kind of like you know limit its functionality a little bit like if you're really feeling those 10-bit resolution on the outputs if you're feeling like you really want just a little bit more control over the envelope functionality the cv or if you really just want to take these cross operations and flex operations for a spin get some of these micro timings and really take the logic functionality that's what the cross operations are is kind of the logic functionality from pam 2 but just brought to the next level. I can also only imagine what ALM has got planned for firmware updates and expanders because they did change the expansion ports on the back of this bad boy. So pretty nifty. But I will also say that if you're totally happy with your PAMS new workout, your PAMS 2, and you're not really running into any of the issues and it's doing everything that you want it to do, then, you know, maybe this upgrade is not uh, immediate for you and that's okay. But if you felt that you may have been limited in the past by the kind of interface of the PAMs and, you know, like a visual aspect of it, this really squashes that little detail and ALM is really, really good with their visual component, their kind of design language, their fonts especially. Um, so, you know, the screen looks great. All of the visual feedback is really, really nice. They added a shortcut, so now you can press and hold 
um, to the two buttons and swap between different channels on the same mode, which is really nice. There's a ton of extra enhancements in here. Gotta say a bunch of the small, like just like quality of life ones are my favorite. The knob press thing, the rhythm scope, the quick shortcut and everything like that. I am going to now just turn it over to some footage of me just kind of dinking around with the thing. And uh, that's uh, that's it for the plant zone, Pamela's workout. Uh... All right, so let's just take a quick look at this thing, like a real basic breeze over of, you know, what's new, what's interesting, what's cool, what's absolutely pro about Pamela's pro workout. So we can see right off the bat that this beautiful new screen allows them to use their wonderful fonts that I'm absolutely in love with. It also gives us a nice little indicator of which channel we're on, you know, on the little row output there. And then I would also like to very quickly highlight that uh, you can go bop back all the way to ridiculously high values now. 9,000? That's a, that's a pretty high division, 16,384. Um, and uh, yeah, and then on the multiplier side, you can go multiply by 1092, which uh, looks something like that. Um, but yeah. Uh, so that range has been extended greatly. Also, let's click in and take a look here. Um, we can also see now that there are kind of like ratchety waves and we've got triangles, trapezoids, we've got a sine wave, we've got a hump, we've got, you know, a couple different envelope shapes there and uh, this nice little like woggle sort of, uh, they described it as like Mario Hills actually, which I loved and thought was really nice. We're gonna look at that in just a little bit here. Um, but yeah, a bunch of new shapes there, which is pretty interesting. Uh, you've got a couple of familiar functions here, you know, width, level, offset, phase, and then probability, um, <clears throat> which is very nice. Uh, we like our probability. Euclidean steps, these are all pretty familiar here. Now, what's pretty great about this is, is these are kind of contextual. So once you start to, you know, put them in here, it starts to fill up that little thing and then it shows you like how those are going to be, you know, um, shifted in time and everything like that. And there's also that Euclidean pad you saw me add there, which is kind of like a, a little bit of a buffer. It adds blank time in. So this is super duper handy and it completely goes away or comes back once you uh, engage that or disengage it, which is uh, pretty cool if I do say so myself. You can also set this via CV now. So that's awesome. And if you plug an Axon 1 in, you got extra CV ins. And these are all CV ins now. Uh, the run and clock inputs, they can be uh, turned into CV inputs. So you've got four CV ins on Pam's new workout. So this functionality opens it up for crazy cool modulation in my opinion. Um, and then, you know, on that note, I guess I should also mention that on the shape modes, you can go back to run or uh, start or stop here too. Um, wait, where are they? Run. So yeah, that's just a nice little enhancement and it is super welcome, super fun to have a visual representation. Moving right on along, something that I think is absolutely super amazing is this idea of like loop nap and loop wake, which allows you to like loop a section and then, you know, have it stop and then pick up again, which is what I'm doing actually on uh, channel four here, where I've got this set to uh, loop just two beats and then take a nap after four of those loops and then wake up after another. So it does this. And then I've got that, actually, we're going right on along here. Well, I've got that cross modded to eight here. So they've also made the cross modding really, really easy. That was kind of available in Pam's new workout, but it was a little, the lot, it was called logic and it was a little bit 
interesting how it all worked. But now they've really smoothed everything out so you can just kind of like cross modulate two channels against each other. So that's, uh, you know, very welcome as well. Another thing that they've added in here is this ability of the flex operation. So this adds a little bit of modulation to kind of like Think of it as like phrase or overall, you know, um, so you can kind of have like ramping up or like humps. Um, and so, yeah, then you can also have CV come in there and do this. So this is just an absolutely astounding update to Pam's workout. And I think that honestly, it was my 100% recommendation module before, and now it's my 150% recommendation. At 8 HP, if you don't have this module, I don't know what you're doing. You're, you can't be a serious Euro racker without a Pamela's Pro Workout in your rack. I just want to also highlight real fast that there are themes now, which is very cute. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Um, you know, I really like the different look and there's encoder, you know, fast, hold, slow, you know, maybe I'll turn it on fast and see, you know. Oh yeah, see that's quite nice. That clicks in and out very. Ooh, I like fast. Fast is my new recommendation there. Um, so yeah, this has just been a like really quick look. I'm not even gonna get too deep into it. I don't want to futz and mess around with everything. Um, I'm gonna be talking about this probably for like the next year over at Perfect Circuit, where we all also probably made a video. So go check that one out links below and i'm going to turn it back over to myself so myself can do things that i do myself okay and that's it for the video today kind of a little bit of a different video than what we normally do on the channel but that's because i don't really want to spoil this module and also it's not anything incredibly new it's just like an extra layer of frosting and sprinkles on top of your favorite cake already so you know go check it out have some fun check out the pc video that i made because it's way better than this one and uh yeah if you guys want to hit that like and subscribe button that'd be really cool there's a patreon and a discord now all these things just kind of support me and my pup just a little bit so yeah we appreciate the hell out of it and uh yeah that's all from the plant zone